great to see everyone here today. I want to start out by asking you to close your eyes and picture a computer scientist. Um, you've all seen already, yes, computer scientists can be women. Think about what that computer scientist woman might be doing all day long. Think about what her office looks like. Think about how she spends her time. All right, now I want you to open your eyes and uh, look at this. This is not my office, but this is probably what many of you pictured, right? Somebody sitting in a basement, punched over a little computer and typing, and of course the code that comes out is always green, right? <laughs> like the movies? Anybody picture something sort of like this? Yeah, I, I would have two at your age. Um, and I'm here to tell you that this is not necessarily what being a computer scientist is about. Um, my office has a window, for one thing, um, but actually, I want to show you a video of me being a computer scientist at work. Everybody you saw on stage, including me, we're all musicians, and we're playing music live with laptops instead of instruments. Um, in fact, they're digital instruments, not acoustic instruments. Um, everybody has one of these uh, controllers. There's strings that you can pull out with your hands, and at the bottom of this, there are sensors. And these sensors send information to the computer about where your hands are in space. So we're not dancers, we're actually uh, moving in a way that will produce a sound that fits in the piece that you just heard. Uh, so what am I doing on stage here as a computer scientist? Well, I wrote the software that lives inside these instruments. And in fact, my software lives inside a bunch of other instruments. Uh, this one you see on top is uh, a piece of tree bark, and you play music by running your hands over the tree bark. It's really uh, beautiful. The one on the bottom is something that's really easy to play. It sounds kind of like rock music. Um, you play it by waving your hands over this little bar in front of the computer. And this instrument is really fun because you can play it and sound great without ever having had a music lesson. Uh, you can also play it even if you have a physical disability that might prevent you from playing a guitar or a drum set. Um, so, how did I get into this? Um, I was not really into computers as a kid. I certainly didn't know about computer music or experimental music. Um, I wanted to be an astronaut or a veterinarian for most of my childhood. Um, but then I thought a lot about it. I really loved music, and I decided at age 16 that I wanted to become a flutist. Right? Um, Three things happened, though, that changed my career path. Number one, I actually joined a youth orchestra. This was my dream at age 16, and I found out very quickly that being a flutist is not always like this. Who knew? Um, turns out you spend a lot of time just sitting there, not playing, counting rests. You also spend a lot of time in a practice room, playing the same exercises over and over. And it's not always creative, and it's not always expressive. The second thing that happened to me was I started building things with my friends. Um, I built a website with one friend for a TV show that we really liked, and we put our fan fiction up on this website. Uh, for another friend, I had a graphing calculator in my maths class, and I downloaded a game onto that calculator, and then I changed it a little bit so that it made animations that were more you know, my own animations. They didn't actually look this good, but I gave that to my friend as a birthday gift. And I kept making these sorts of things and found that, yeah, actually, this is pretty fun. Shortly after that, I enrolled in a computer science class. Um, I had the option of either doing computer science or biology. And that year, I knew that all the students in biology would have to dissect a cow heart. So I naturally chose computer science. And I found out really quickly that when I had been building this website, when I'd been making these little animations, I had been learning computer science. I just hadn't thought about it that way. 
Um, nothing I was doing was hard. I had a book about websites, a book about programming your calculator, and I just followed instructions, and then I tweaked things a little bit. Um, but then I kept tweaking and kept changing things. A lot of times it didn't work, but I kept trying and ended up having a lot of fun. And it turns out that that's actually what programming is. Um, I learned that, well, programming isn't like what you see in the movies. It's not some guy who's got all of these arcane words memorized, typing them into a computer really fast in green. A lot of times, even for professionals, it's about saying, hey, I have an idea of something I want to make. I'm going to find some code that exists somewhere, and I'm going to change it and just not be afraid about what might go wrong, um, but just play with it and play with it until I have something that maybe represents what I want to do. So I got hooked. I did a degree in computer science in university. I did a master's. I got a PhD. And now I teach programming and creative computing and music computing to students at Goldsmiths. And the reason that I kept doing programming, I've, you know, 20 years later, I'm still doing it, is that I realized programming is about as close as you can get to becoming a sorcerer. Right? It's like being in Harry Potter. All you have to do if you want to make something is think about it, describe it to a computer, and then suddenly it exists. And you can use it. You can give it to your friends as a gift. You can change the world, even if it's just changing the world in a small way. Um, and as you saw in the video, I thought, you know what? The thing that I want to exist is more music. I want to create things that make sounds that we've never heard before. I want to create things that you can play, even if you've never had a music lesson, where you can jam with your friends and have that really fun experience. I want to make expressive musical instruments that people with disabilities can play. So my question for you is, if you're a sorcerer, what would you make? Because with programming, you could actually be the person to go do it. Thank you.